Hi everybody, welcome to a new tutorial from Sound for More. It's Leo speaking. Today I have the pleasure to introduce you to Scalebud 2, the new version of Scalebud, a very much more enhanced version with more than 110 scales and a lot of more functionalities. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as that helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. As you know, all the applications from Gem are AUV free compliant, so let's use Scalebud 2 as an AUV free instance inside the AUM. So let's create first a channel because we want some audio, as Scalebud is a MIDI processor application inside AUM. So let's load something very simple for the purpose of the tutorial, like a grand piano. Of course, we can make that more sophisticated as we progress. Let's also create a MIDI channel and inside that MIDI channel, let's search for Scalebud 2. Okay, and let's uh, connect also uh, the keyboard to uh, Scalebud 2 and also let's finally connect Scalebud 2 to the grand piano. Okay, let's uh, open the AUM keyboard like so. And if I press on the keyboard, I have MIDI events which are going to scale by two, which are transformed and then sent to the grand piano a UV free two instance. Okay, so let's open scale by two and let's maximize it. So on the top left hand side, you find a list of scales. Very nice. And at the bottom, you will find also additional scales or custom scales that you will be able to create and I will show you that later on. As you select one scale, for example major, on the right hand side it will show you for C major scale, the different notes which belong to that scale and then for each note it will show you that scale that to the major scale applied to that note. So in this case C you will have notes like C D E F G A B on D, you have the E, F will become a sharp because a major as well, the C will become a sharp, <coughs> and so on. At the bottom side, you'll find two keyboards, they're called. The first one, which says C major note, and this will be octave from two to four. And then you have a second one, which you can select, which says again, C major chord, okay? And you can customize uh, how many keyboards you want um, through the settings as I will show you in a moment. As you see, the first scale has notes applied, which you can also play through um, the screen here. Okay, and you can also scroll left and right. And of course you can lock the scroll here if you want to. The bottom scale as instead um, still a C major as a scale, but it is in chord. And again, you can play the chords directly on the screen instead of using a MIDI keyboard like the AUM keyboard or an external controller, of course. As you can see, when I selected a keyboard which has chord, it gives you up here on the right hand side the um, possibility to add the 7th, 9th, 11th and 13th and you see the the codes updated. Okay, perfect. Now, let's um let me show you um how to customize the settings and actually before I go into that, you have patterns here as always so you can create different patterns with different configuration and you can use a CC number 10 to move from one pattern to the other and of course you can press on the plus sign to create a new pattern and right here on the right uh, on the bottom right hand side you have the key so let's say on the first one I want to go with a different key so you scroll up here and you say I want to go on uh, an A flat uh, so, so sorry neutral uh, key and then click them okay in that case you change the scale and as you can see this will become a major scale in with key A in that case starting from A you have C sharp F sharp and G sharp as accident okay perfect 
So let's go into the settings now. So you see at the top it says keyboard one and you have uh, down here the definition of settings for that keyboard. As we scroll down, you have possibility to remove the keyboard. And then we have the second keyboard here, the same settings. Again, you can remove the keyboard, then you can add the new keyboard and you have unlimited keyboards that you can add. Then you have a selection to create a new custom scale. Then you can change the pattern CC and number. And although, of course, you have link also to the tutorial and the representation of the version for the application. Let's say, for example, that I want to remove the second keyboard. Let's click remove. Let's click done. And as you can see, there is only one keyboard now. Let's play with that a little bit to show you the different settings. So first of all, you can set the keyboard to, uh, to play notes or chords. If you click chords, then you click done. You see it changes to chords, which is the equivalent of go here and select notes or chords from here. So if I set this back to notes, and I go back to the settings, you see this is moved to notes. Then we can set the minimal and maximal octave in terms of representation, which is really good. The velocity, you can also randomize the velocity, which is really nice. And you can set the minimal or a maximum range for the velocity. So let me show you. So can, you can hear that there is a different velocity as I press on the keys. That doesn't seem to be working from an external uh, on controller, at least from the AUM keyboard. But it works internally. Okay, so let's go back to settings. So let's remove the randomized settings. You can enable MIDI input, which in this case it is. You can also select the channel for that MIDI input, and you can also decide to transpose the notes. So let's say C5, let's transpose it up. As well, you can transpose it down, of course. Okay, then you can also select the MIDI range, which um, becomes really useful because you can split the keyboards, and I'll show you that in a second. You can enable the MIDI output if you like so, and also you can set a different channel for the MIDI output. Also, you can decide if you want to round off scale and notes. So for example, we are on, uh, at the moment, the A major key. So starting from A, if I was to press uh, A B flat, that press uh, that sounds like an A again because that has been rammed off as a note to the element to the selected scale. If I was to select that to off, that uh, note will not play that B flat. Okay, so that is how it works. I prefer to have um, that on so that I don't make any mistakes and I don't tap on any keys without producing a sound. You can also the, the size to change the size of the key on the screen. So you press, for example, big, and you see they change the size. Additionally, what you can do, you can enable to show code inversion, which will be represented uh, if you, of course, have selected code. Okay, you see some inversion there. So, and finally, you can also show a Roman numerals, which in this case is already active. So. Let's deactivate that uh, code inversion. Right, okay, let me show you the key ranges. So, MIDI input range, let's set these to be uh, starting from C4. So, I, you keep pressing, so we'll go up, and let's go to, here we go, to, to C4. And that we leave to channel number one, that's perfect. Then let's go and add a keyboard, we still have notes, which is fine. We'll leave everything else as it is, but we set the upper range to be free. So we create in this way a split for the keyboard. Okay, there we are. And also we change the MIDI output channel to number two. Okay, that's done. So we have two keyboards, both, um, actually let's set this to notes as well. Okay, and uh, let's set a C major scale also for the first keyboard. So let's change that to uh, C over there, so both C major scale. Perfect. Now let's go to this uh, um, instance of the grand piano and let's uh, uh, deselect 
all the channel and enable only channel one for the filter so that uh, in this case the uh, keyboard uh, um, the first keyboard will, will play only the piano then let's add another audio instance let's choose for example something like uh, why not bliss alpha let's connect it to that scale bud channel number two and uh, let's enable um and let's leave that base sequence and that is nice nice so let's try okay we are below c4 and on c4 so as you can see we have a split from c4 we have uh, we play the grand piano below c4 we play a uh, bliss alpha let's go back now to um, scale by the tune so you, as you can see you have uh, the ability to create multiple keyboards unlimited keyboards and create also splits which is very um, useful let's go back to settings now and let's scroll down where it says um, create new custom scale let's click on it and you are presented with a new screen where you can choose to give a name to the keyboard sorry to the scale let's uh, say sfm let's leave everything as it is for now but notice that it says interval count so four let's click done now let's scroll at the very bottom of the list of the scales and you find the custom scale SF sfm or called sfm let's click on it and what you find is it is still in c because that is the key selected you have only four intervals, so one, two, three, four. The first one is a C, then a D flat, E flat, and A E. So let's see how we can change that. So first of all, let's go back to settings, and you can see the scale we just created. Click on SFM again. You can change the number of interval down to a minimal three. So let's click done. As you can see, it brings you up to the top, which is a bit annoying, I must admit, but scroll down to the bottom select sfm and you have now only three intervals okay let's customize that further so let's go back into the custom scale okay perfect now you have the selection you have a section for each of the intervals so this section for interval one then the second for interval two and then the third for interval three so this is where you need to know about intervals so in this case, we have diminished, perfect, minor, major, augmented intervals, and then you have the grades here. So in this case, the first note is a perfect width interval of one, which will represent the C. Now, the second one is a minor, but and um, a minor second, which in this case will show, you can see up here, a D flat. If I wanted to make it just a D, I go to major, and I still let, that to be selected to um, a second the third note is a e flat so let's go here and i said that i wanted to make an e let's select in major and when you do that remember that it moves you at the beginning at the bottom here in terms of the intervals so in this case i'm going to select the third from the root and now i click done and um, Let's scroll down to find the custom scale. As you can see, I have the standard C major note C, D, E. Okay, let's say that uh, I want to add uh, an F, which will be a perfect four from the root to C. So I will add a fourth interval like that. And uh, on the interval number four, I select perfect, and then I select four as, in, uh, as uh, the distance from the tonic or the root. Let's click down. Let's go to the bottom, find our custom scale. Let's select it. And as you can see, I have now the perfect four, which in this case from the root key C will be an F. Now notes something very important that um, when you have um, um, not enough intervals for your scale, let me show you what happens. So when I go above F, it's still playing the F because we have a round off scale. So just bear in mind that um, 
um, that will happen. So you have a note which will be effectively redundant or duplicated. Also, there is a, a fantastic new addition. Let me show you. Let's say that we want to add another uh, MIDI processor from Gem, like the Melody Bud. And um, now let's go inside the Melody Bud and let's go to the settings and let's go to the scale. I previously done a tutorial for uh, um, for this, and you can see that um, uh, scale bud juice, uh, sorry, scale bud two shares the custom scale which was creating a scale bud two. It is present now in Melody Bud, which is fantastic. You have the ability to share custom uh, scales. Okay, I hope you found this tutorial interesting, and as always, see you next time. Thank you. Bye.